What does Christ say about spiritual progress? No true spiritual progress is possible until the dawning of a clear realization that each person is responsible for the way his or her life develops. A conditioned and programmed mind is like concrete, cherished beliefs, used as talismans, emotional supports and affirmations to give strength in times of crisis, are emotionally imprinted in the subconscious, and usually incorporate in them a fear of offending God when contemplating moving on to some higher truth. Unless there is a sincere longing to know the truth of being, rather than traditional beliefs, these mental patterns are almost impossible to annihilate in the mind and emotions and they block true spiritual progress. The level of consciousness you die with, is the level you will bring back. The human capacities to be utilized by each soul, depend on the spiritual progress it made in previous lives. At the moment of conception, the old soul infuses its personal consciousness of past lives and past spiritual progress into the conception process and becomes the soul of the fertilized ovum. Sometimes, a person with a high level of spiritual perception may be drawn, at birth, into a family of lower spiritual levels, because the environment will strengthen their awareness and increase their spiritual stamina as they struggle in their early years to return to their rightful consciousness home in the spiritual stratum on earth, and later, in the next world. Just as you experience your undeveloped consciousness when you pass over, so do you go into the higher dimensions, which reflects your own consciousness when you have reincarnated several times and worked on gaining spiritual insight. You find that you, and everyone else you encounter, is of the same consciousness, you will be magnetized into the conditions which are compatible, and by reason of your own creativity, you can perfectly contribute to. The more spiritual the consciousness of a person before they pass over, the more that they have looked back over their lives, gained insight into the ego control of their minds and feelings, the damage they have done to other people's lives, the unhappiness they have caused, the greater the spiritual progress will they make. You have to understand that your ego must, of necessity to enable you to survive, make you believe you are of value to yourself and other people. Any external serious challenge, regarding the value of the self, is highly destructive. A desperate fear and internal subsidence of confidence will lead to the conviction that you are without value in the world, and suicide can be the natural outcome. Therefore, your progress will and must be gradual. No one should ever expect people to be wholly changed by words of advice or times of inspiration. Growth can only take place very gradually, one insight at a time. A true spiritual insight will imbue a person's mind with an altogether new point of view which will enable him to begin to approach certain related circumstances in life differently. This insight must direct the person's actions until it has been absorbed, completely, into the consciousness for eternity and becomes part of the soul evolution. Are you blocked from spiritual progress by your stubborn adherence to present beliefs? Are you able, after due thought, to realize that all you are so sturdily upholding is only belief, irrational belief? It is absolutely vital to your spiritual development that you should, at long last, fully understand the principles of your human mind and emotional functioning. You think you do, but you do not understand it at all. You can only understand it by coming out of it entirely, transcending it, moving into higher dimensions of perception and experience, entering into truth itself. Only then, do you begin to perceive that you, and every other person in the world, have lived and directed your lives almost entirely by human beliefs, not truth.